In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your custom Elementor widget that crops images to any shape you want. So I've seen this question by Cynthia Harrison on one of the Elementor groups, and I thought it would be an interesting challenge for Unlimited Elements widget creator. And the first thing I did is I searched on Google for a service called Clippy. Clippy is by Bennett Feely. And he has an option to select all sorts of interesting shapes that he crops them by CSS. You can also move the anchor points to customize your shape. But I found over here the right and left point, which fit exactly the question by Cynthia. So I'm going to use this one. And over here, he lets you also change the width of this to see how it looks in different kind of widths. Of course, this is going to be responsive, so this is just an example of this specific width. Great, so the CSS for this is over down here. I'm going to copy that. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going into a service called CodePen. Whoever saw previous tutorials, sees me using this a lot. I just like this editor since I can see everything live, it's saved, you can fork stuff. It's very comfortable. I'm going to open a new div and give that an ID. I'm gonna call it right point. And in the CSS, I'm going to open a selector. And paste the CSS. Now, we're not seeing anything, since a div needs a height to be visible. And it also needs a background color or background image so we can see it. Let's start with color. Great, so this is our shape. I'm going to add it back on the image. This is one of my images on the server. Of course, this is going to be editable in the Elementor widget. Next thing I'm going to do is background repeat no repeat and background size cover and background position center so this way any image anyone down uh, uploads will be centered and covering the whole image no matter what width the image is since we want this to be responsive. Let's just give this a name so we don't lose it if we need it for later and save. Great. So that's the first part, making the HTML and the CSS. The next part is making this into an Elementor widget. For that, I'm going to go inside of WordPress. You need unlimited elements installed. And inside of unlimited elements, we click add widget. I'm going to call this right point image right point image and add widget. Once the widget is added we double click and inside of the HTML we paste the HTML. Great. Next thing is pasting the CSS. Perfect. And let's just save that before we continue. Great. And we need to replace this ID with a dynamic ID. So I'm going to copy the ID, replace that, save. And in the CSS, 
I'm also going to replace that. Great. Next thing, I'm going to take this image. I'm going to save it. I'm going to call it default image. And in attributes, we're going to create a new attribute called image. Select the attribute image field and add it. Great, we've added that. The next thing we need to do is replace it in the H in the CSS. We replaced it. Now it's dynamic. Anything a user selects will be the URL. Next thing I'm going to do is create a folder. Create folder. Enter inside of the folder and click set to set the folder as the asset path for this widget. Over here we're going to click upload and let's upload our default image. We do need to go back into attributes, open this up and now we can select a default image. Great. So we've got everything set up. I'm just going to click save and we want to test this in pages. Add new. Edit with Elementor. And we're going to scroll down to the category we just created. We see the new image we've added, and I'm dragging it inside. Wow, that looks perfect to me. I'm just missing maybe a height setting. Let's just check if we replace an image, if it looks good. Yeah, this is looking good. Select another image. Great. Now, to quickly go back to the framework for editing the HTML and adding, adding attributes, we've added a button over here. It's a quick button. You click on that, and it opens the HTML tab. And over here, I want to go into attributes, add an attribute that's called height. This is going to be a number field, and the default is going to be 400. We do not need a suffix. And in the CSS, I'm going to replace the static height with a dynamic height that the user can determine. Save that. Save the page we are on. Refresh. Click the image. And now we can see the new attribute that we've just added. Let's edit to test. And this is working perfectly. You can also use the up and down keys since this is a number attribute. So that was just a quick challenge I took on myself. I think it was interesting. And I want to thank you guys for joining. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more channel challenges and interesting stuff we're going to release. And see you next time.